Hey YouTube, just a little quick handheld video here. Um, I was going to do this the other day, but I didn't get around to it. I had other things I was busy doing. So, um, around three weeks ago, there was some uh, situation that happened at work, which uh, I'll be talking possibly about this at some point in the future, because it's more so it's related to a bunch of other stuff, so it won't specifically be the situation at work. It's going to be about a bunch of other important things you guys need to know. So it was about three weeks ago, right? And But so then, you know, the manager understood my situation, sorry, the owner understood my situation after talking with him, and he wanted to help me. And so um, I was probably going to be moved to uh, another location of the pizza shop that I work at. So, you know, I was expecting that to be pretty quick. I had a talk with the manager at the other location who already knew me. Everything was seeming like it was good. And I just kind of patiently waited for them to like do the next step and because work on my own projects, enjoying some time off, which honestly, knowing that I have this house that I live in with my mom and my stepdad who are very nice and loving and that if I have to look for another job or if I, you know, decide I want to switch and take a break, do that, I can for a while and I can go look for another job and take my time. I don't have to rush to find one. And also, you know, I, another thing that's been really nice to know is we have basement renters and we have renters next door. And so my mom pointed out that, like, you know, if whenever they pass away or something else happens, uh, that'll be an income source for me, even if it's hard for me to find a job. And so that's that's really nice. But so I've just been kind of enjoying my free time and working on my own projects, not having to go toss pizza, which that's an OK job. It, by all means, my work there hasn't been like bad, but I've just really enjoyed this time. And so it was a couple of days ago that I was working on my animation pulling leg. The main thing I've been doing recently is grab gathering sound effects for it and getting together voice actors for it. Because I had like 90% of the animation done, oh, easily six months ago, if not more. And so there was a little bit of finish up on that. And when I was working on that, I also found a new song that I'm absolutely in love with and I've been listening to a lot. And that I was listening to the song in between working on the animation, the bits where I had to listen to stuff. Uh, that's actually... Uh, Only Love Can Hurt Like This. I forget the artist now. <laughs> It's a popular song. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. And that's not directly related to the animation, but it did kind of affect my mood a bit. But, you know, I, I had been... I was a little bit getting a little tired of staring at red and green waveforms and recording sound effects, although it's been fun and rewarding a little bit. And I have taken some breaks. I have, like, played some Minecraft, and I've taken a walk and done some other things so that I get a little bit of a mental break for a couple of hours or so, and then back to work. I actually really like it, and... That day, I started crying a couple of days ago because I realized that for the first time in years, I was doing really what I love. Go, go back to 2019 before I had to leave my channel because of the family emergency, which that's the thing I'll probably be talking about at some point in the future. Uh, before that, you know, I was doing YouTube. I was doing some things that I kind of wanted to do, but, like, not the stuff that I really, really wanted to be doing. And I wasn't doing it in a way that was really good for me. Like, I had the monthly schedule try to get one video done before next month starts, which was possible, but sometimes I didn't want to be working on the video. It was a little boring, and so I wouldn't edit the video. And on top of that, I was working at a slightly stressful job at Dollar Tree, and it was just not very great, and so making little changes like I'm planning to do where I'll try and work on one video at a time. I can work on more if I want to, if I'm waiting for things. You know, I've talked about that in other videos, but I have better ideas of how to actually better do what I want, but a lot of it wasn't really making a short film and using my full creative power. I was actually recording a sound effect using my full creative power when I started crying happy tears. And so... It was just like really, really nice. And I just, I love this. And I've loved just kind of working on this project for the past few weeks and not having to go to a job. And I will pick up a job again because there are some things that I should have some income for. 
Like, I do buy a lot of food items that my parents don't, so I'm basically feeding myself. Um, not, you know, not completely, though. My parents still do buy some stuff, and like I said, they, they're they willing to support me if necessary. So, I, I do need a job. I would love for this to be a job. I would love for you guys to go support me on Patreon so I could make this a job, or... Um, at some point, I will try for, see if I get jobs in the film industry. Uh, maybe a permanent position as an editor somewhere, or an all-around video maker. I don't know. There's a lot of reasons why that doesn't completely work out, but I love this so much. And it's just been so happy and rewarding for me to, um, work on this animation. And <clears throat> to work on this project. And I want to do more stuff like this in the future. Uh, I still will be doing some of my other things. There's studio setup videos. I want to do some videos on my alarm clocks collection and stuff like that. But I'm going to structure them in a simple, easy-to-do way. Nothing big and complex for those, most likely. I don't know. Basically, the point is I'm doing what I love, and I've just really enjoyed these, you know, three weeks. And I just kind of don't want to go back. But I will go back to uh, either my job at the pizza place or... I don't know, there's a nearby gas station I've thought about getting a job at. We'll see. I'll have something. I'll be able to find something. But for right now, I'm just really enjoying this. And I'm going to wait to contact the owner of the pizza place until this project's done. And then I'll see where we're at. And I'll basically be like, hey, just want to see if you're actually going to have me work at the other store. I've been totally fine waiting, just enjoying the time working on some of my own projects. And it's been really fun. And so that's why I didn't message you sooner. But yeah, I don't know. Just want to let him know that no hard feelings for him, you know, not getting back to me sooner on things. And I've just really enjoyed my time. So thanks so much for watching. Patreon.com slash Coastals 101. Uh, you can go help and support me there. Not only because it's what I really like doing and, you know, because I want to work with more people in the film community, but also because it's... You know, due to some certain circumstances, I'll talk about it at some point in the future, probably. Um, I am planning on talking about it. I'm just waiting till I have a few more things set up, and I can do some really good videos on the subject. Um, it's uh, maybe a little tricky for me to have regular jobs, and so it would be really nice and helpful if I could just have this be a job. But, either way, I am patiently waiting for Patreons and enjoying this time that I've had. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in whatever's next. Bye.